Liu Hui, born in the 3rd century, was a Chinese mathematician who lived in the Northern Wei Kingdom. He was a descendant of the Marquis of Zixiang, who was a ruler during the Han Empire. This was likely the only reason he was able to access mathematical texts and to build on them himself. His eloquent writing would also suggest he was knowledgeable in literature as well as mathematics. Little else is known about his life. It could be possible that he lived in isolation, which is why there is little to no evidence of him until later on in his life. His major attribution towards his fame includes his analysis on the nine chapters on the mathematical art, a Chinese mathematics book created by several scholars over the course of 800 years, starting from the 10th BCE. Wei flourished around 263 AD, where his commentary towards solutions from the problems set out in this book were published. This meant he was one of the first mathematicians to comprehend and utilize negative numbers. These are also the earliest known proofs created in China. In 263 AD, he published a book with solutions to mathematical problems seen within the nine chapters on mathematical art. He proved algorithms such as solving the area of circles as well as the volume of pyramids by dividing the region into an infinite amount of pieces. He also proved algorithms for adding fractions and solving linear equations simultaneously. Liu Hui also presented a separate appendix during 263 AD called Hai Do Suan Jing, or the Sea Island Mathematical Manual. This book contained many practical problems of geometry, including the measurement of the heights of Chinese pagoda towers. This smaller work outlined instructions on how to measure distances and heights with tall surveyor's poles and horizontal bars fixed at right angles to them. Liu Hui's third century commentary on the nine chapters is the most important text dating from before the 13th century that contains proofs in the modern sense. His commentary on the algorithms for computing the volumes of bodies exemplifies the kind of mathematical work that he carried out throughout the book called Exegesis. His successors Zhu Chongzi and Zhu Zhenzi assisted on his work on the volume of a sphere, which could not be completed himself due to his passing. Two centuries after his death, Zhu Chongzi also attempted to further Hui's work on the measurement of a circle by endeavouring to rationalise pi. This was further bettered by al Kashi in the early 15th century, but was not completely discovered until the late 16th century. The work of Liu Hui was taught in the official school for the sons of the state, where emphasis was placed on learning methods rather than justifications. Much of his work has been lost due to China's lack of emphasis on the need for mathematics. If any work was created by a Chinese mathematician, there would be no credit given since most mathematicians had remained anonymous. As well as this, the use of mathematics in China declined and therefore his work was not fully utilized and could not be entirely appreciated during his time period. When it came to plain areas and solid figures, he was a pioneering contributor to empirical solid geometry. For instance, he can be credited for finding out that a wedge with a rectangular base and both sloping sides could be broken into a pyramid and also a tetrahedral wedge. Liu Hui also discovered that a wedge that has a trapezoid base and both sloping sides could be transformed into two tetrahedral wedges segregated by a pyramid. In nine chapters, he proposed an algorithm for the calculation of pi. He also started the Cavalieri's principle, which was to determine the volume of a cylinder. However, this work was later finished by Zhu Zhenzi. He used a small set of proof techniques including dissection, decomposition and into known pieces and recomposition and a simplified version of what became known later in the West as Cavalieri's principle. It states that if two solids of the same height are such that their corresponding sections at any level have the same areas, then they have the same volume.